How's everybody doing? Good, good. I'm, I'm Matt Irving. I'm, I'm our uh, Google, Google Account Manager for Big Commerce. Um, we're one of the world's fastest growing e-commerce platforms, um, empowering about 60,000 merchants all over the world uh, how to win online. So here to talk to you a little bit about what are the ways that you win online. You're going to hear uh, if you're going to hear hashtags, you're going to hear Pinterest, you're going to hear all kinds of things today. Uh, we, we just kind of want to help you give a platform that can make sense of that. So uh, without further ado, I'll, I'll dive in. Um, so how, how many of you have existing commerce pre, pre, presence? How many of you are selling things online? Cool, cool. So uh, ju just kind of walk through a little bit of history. So if you go back to like the 1970s, right? Or uh, even, even just even 10 years ago, the cost of selling something online would, would be somewhere probably around 100K to get started. Uh, you would be spending millions on on all this infrastructure, support, mechanisms, you're gonna be taking payments, uh, you, you're gonna incur all this liability, you're gonna to have to support all this, you're gonna to have to scale it, you're gonna to have to even, get, just even get operational. Uh, so in the 1970s, there was kind of this, uh, this old idea, if I had a product that I was gonna go sell, there's really only a couple ways really to get that in the hands of a, of, a, of a consumer. One is I could go hustle my way through a Best Buy, go get my product on the shelf, and, and go buy the, the illustrious end caps. Uh, the, the, those are the most popular sections within any kind of retail space. You then, if you weren't able to do that, then you could go to a, another distributor or a, another brand, and then, and then you could co-label. So uh, this is Mike's product brought, brought to you by Logitech. So it's one that already had one of the uh, licenses that you could already go into. You move into the 1990s where you're, you're then able to even import in products, being, being able to uh, get, get, get in online, but still kind of cumbersome. Not, not a lot of people are online. Uh, a lot of people are even hesitant on, uh, on buying a lot of things online. And now you move into today where online is a must. Um, is, is anyone familiar with a company called Tidal? Or another brand of it is called Alibaba. So Alibaba last year, in November, set a record for online sales within one day. Um, anyone want to take a stab at what that number was? Just in a day of sales, what, what, what it was? It was something crazy. I don't remember. It was the highest yeah. high, well, yeah. So their their IPO as well. Um, they so in one day of sales, nine billion dollars. Nine billion would it be? And 80% of that traffic is driven by mobile specifically. So 80% of traffic, nine billion dollars. And, and anyone want to take a stab at what, what the what the holiday was or what the what the backstory on that was? It's a Chinese holiday, uh -huh. right? Where they celebrate being single. Yep, it's a sing, it's a single awareness day. <laughs> so so it's all about it was all about be, be, being single, there, there was a hashtag that was trending on Twitter uh, for days uh, called treat, treat, treat Yourself. Uh, the, 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 the whole, whole idea was um, basically just built, built around this Chinese holiday that actually Alibaba created. So you create your own holiday it, that, that, uh, that spurred on about $9 billion in transactions. So when we talk about digital, one, one of the things that, uh, that, that, we, that we typically look at is whole um, a uh, whole range of things. We, we walk through paid search. We walk. We hear about things with mobile. You hear about the need to play on on, on mobile. You hear about SEO. You hear about email uh, emails and, and CRMs. You hear about analytics. But at the core of that is really your web presence, your digital presence. And so as you uh, go to go to a lot of these sessions today, a lot of what you're going to hear is what what is your digital marketing strategy? How how are you playing online? Uh, to borrow from the presentation earlier. How are you being digitally disruptive? But one of the things that's really interesting about this is whenever you hear a lot of, um, from, from a marketer side, or, or uh, as you look at what, what are the deliverables that really prove this? So within paid search, am I getting an audience? Am I getting visitors to my website? Uh, within social, am I getting um, so, social awareness? Am I building communities? Am I getting people to talk about my brand? Then ultimately, am I driving those people back? With, with commerce, uh, one of the things that we've, we've really looked at is how do we help stores, um, merchants, be able to sell more and really be able to look at a commerce first approach? Because at the end of the day, if you have a million visitors, what, what really makes the impact is really how, how, much, do, how much did you sell? 
How much re 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 revenue did you make? How can you maximize on those? And so really looking at deliverables versus uh, ROI. And what better way to really do, what better way to prove ROI than really drive that directly back to revenue? And so what about getting the word out? Uh, as we understand, digital is a very complex uh, system. There's a, there's a lot of moving parts. But what about even getting the word out? So I have a digital web, web presence. So this is a this is a summation of every technology that, that exists out, out outside right now, which people could spend hours on uh, on this. So you have retargeting, you have webinars, you have landing pages. Uh, with retargeting, you do some really creepy things like uh, being able to offer promotions on on other competitors' websites. You have big data, you have B2B data. But really, all this is again just ways of just getting your brand out there. Now. The, the big thing about, uh, uh, that you'll hear about a lot in, in platforms or SaaS-based solutions is really how, how do you incorporate a digital brand and then uh, from a front-end presen pre front pre presentation, how do you get the client hooked? How do you tell that brand story? How do you, how do you really talk about your products? And then, uh, then also, how do you, how do you really showcase uh, the, um, the, the technology requirements of really multi-channel selling, uh, inventory management, of really making revenue. And that's really kind of where big commerce has really come uh, We've been around since 2009, actually evolved out of an email marketer uh, suite, uh, very, very similar to uh, Constant Contact or MailChimp or Emma, there's, there's a lot of these. Um, and uh, to, to date, right now, we support around 60,000 merchants in about 80 countries. And so we, um, just maybe to give you a little bit of perspective on that as well, we power about $5 billion of transactions on an annual basis. That's what we just wrapped up uh, here in December, on track for about 10 this year. So just to give you kind of a sense of scale, uh, you know, driving visitors is great, driving revenue is a lot better. So that, that's, that's really kind of what, what's been a big core tenant of us. And really today, just really want to share with you really quickly, 10 principles really to e-commerce growth. And, and I'll show you some examples as well. The first is really just get started. Uh, I say that I say that because the burden of entry to really start an e-commerce site is very, very little. For the price of the cell phone plan, you, you, you can be up and running today. On a monthly subscription, have, have the power of the infrastructure of guys like, like Target, like Macy's you, you utilize, and, and, you're, and you're up online. The cost of failure is very, very little, right? You, if you shut down a domain, that's about it. Uh, if, if you fat, if you reverse back about ten years, the cost of uh, again of operating. So if I was going to go buy a retail space, it's about half a million to go rent to go rent out a space. If I wanted to put together a promotion for Valentine's Day, I'm going to have to go hire an art director. I'm going to have to go build out all the signage. It's going to be a whole big deal. Uh, with a website, it's very 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 simple for, for me to for, for me to do this. Uh, this, this is actually just a website that I just spun up. Uh, and within within big commerce, and there, was, there were a lot of other products out there on the market as well. Uh, but this actually took uh, 15 minutes actually to, to to spin up the store, add in some graphics, and we're, we're up and running. The big thing that you'll hear too is you, you hear about web builders, and you'll hear about platforms. Web builders, great places to start start businesses. So you'll hear Shopify, you'll hear Wix, you'll hear uh, Volusion. There there are a lot of there there are a lot of these are out there, often free, but. But the challenge that you'll run into is what, what we call the success th threshold. And that's really about whenever a merchant hits about a million dollars in GMV, you're exposed to uh, problems like inventory management. I'm gonna start selling on eBay or Amazon. I'm going to uh, gonna be doing price adjustments in multiple marketplaces. Uh, maybe I wanna be able to offer a responsive and a mobile dedicated site uh, to really take advantage of that. And so, uh, what, one thing that we would, we, 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 we would look at is, Often the argument is here is I'm going to host it in house. I'm going to build it all in house. I've got I've got some geeks uh, in the basement somewhere. Uh, I, I love seeing the red light on on a server, and so I'm just going to manage in house. So just to keep that in mind, th this was a report done by Forrester, uh, but it, it's about four times the annual cost for you to for, for you to host your your own website and your own infrastructure. And you, you kind of calculate that as, well, I've got to maintain my servers, I have to build out all this infrastructure, I have to support it, if anything goes down, it's on me. And um, yeah, there, there are a lot of platforms out there that, that can really actually help not only take that over, uh, but, but really be a, be a solution for you in the long run. Um, when, when we talk about even adding products, we, we look at what, what, what types of products 
work well online and what and, and what what industries are out there. Typically, when people when people think uh, when people think commerce, they think they think retail. And so, uh, a good good example from uh, from from our site that we just spun up here. Um, if I just wanted to sell uh, onesies, or um, we we work with a brand called Chuck Levens. Um, anyone familiar with Stevie Ray Vaughan? So Stevie Ray Vaughan was a this guitar tech at this really really small music uh, store um, in, in in the South called Chuck, Chuck Levens. And uh, this brand has a lot of real, real interesting stories. But one of the big problems that they had is they had an inventory management system that they used internally that for years they've been told you guys can never move online if you guys use this. Yeah. And, and the reason Chuck Levens wouldn't, wouldn't really want to do that is they, they had 55,000 SKUs, 55,000 individual products, all these instruments always coming out. And so they partnered with an ad agency that we actually work with um, called Jasper Studios. Um, and what we did is we actually made an inventory sync with them. And we did a few things. One, one, of, the, one of the first things that we actually looked at with them was um, be, being able to have an integration di directly with, with their, it's been forever since I've used Internet Explorer. Um, <laughs> uh, so, so we did an integration to actually bring in their 55,000 products, build, 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 build that integration. And w one of the things that they were looking for was not really just a way to just start the site, uh, but really what, what does it look like to grow? To, to grow? And so the site that, that we see here that is fully responsive, so I can look at that on a mobile device, I look at that on an iPad, I look at that on a PC. Why is that important? Well, because the majority of consumers that, that, that are shopping, especially in, in, impulse buys, are either in the middle of a meeting, they're, like, go, they're, they're, they're surfing on a phone, so why not make, why not make the sale happen there? Um, and so, one, one thing that makes uh, big commerce and, and SaaS platforms like us, software as a service platforms, very, very, very particular, is that we have the ability to not only help you start websites but also grow websites. So we support clients that are already pre-revenue all the way to a few Fortune 500 companies that are doing about 100 million plus. And really, what that is is again getting past a success, a success threshold. So whenever you're asking about a website. The common thing that, that most people are sold is really, what are your needs today and what is your website today so we can get you up and running online and digitally engaged? But the bigger question is really where are you headed as a business? Because we can get your products up and online, that's great. But if, you're, if you change products monthly, we're, we're going to be back having the same discussion in about a month. And so um, I love this story. This is, a, this is a company that's out of California, Food, 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 Food Outdoor Speakers. In the past, about 10 years ago, they they not they, they beat down uh, Target store, they beat down Best Buy store. They really tried to get in the hands of a direct consumer. And really, what is commerce? Commerce is really not a solution for, for a selling problem. It's really a solution for a distribution problem. I have products, I want to get it out to a client. That's, that's really about it. And if you think about that, that allows you to do B2B, that allows you to do B2C, that allows you to do service-based businesses. Because uh, you can book appointments, you can monetize, and all these kinds of things. So Fugo, for example, uh, partnered, with, partnered with an ad agency, a ser service provider, to really go online. And uh, really, for them, they sell three products, and, and it's really actually the same speaker. It's just given a different uh, a, di a different casing. And so when you look at um, when when you actually look look, look at the at the product itself. Uh, you'll you'll see a couple, yeah. So a, cu a couple of iterations on it. Again, this is all running on on a big commerce platform from from a front end standpoint. So you know, cu customizable menus, being able to tell a really strong brand story, um, wh which is a big deal. Now, one thing that's interesting about Fu Fugo is that they showed that they could actually make a make a ton of sales. So this year, they were actually featured at the Consumer Electronics Showcase. Uh, in Vegas, one of the largest shows for really electronic arts. Now they're actually one of the number one selling speaker brands uh, with Apple. So they're in, in, they're actually in every Apple store that you go to, uh, and really just a story of um, really being able to build a brand by themselves. They also sell multi-channel on Amazon and eBay, and that's one thing that you'll hear a lot. Uh, being able to play play in multiple marketplaces. One thing that a lot of people really don't realize about, about other marketplaces is 
really what you're doing is you're renting Amazon and eBay's customers and really with the hope that you'll drive them back to your brand. So the, fir the first thing, just going back to this uh, earlier slide about, uh, about, about the digital landscape is build a brand, add your products, build, build up that brand centric first and drive people, drive people to your brand. Um, and you, you can always play, uh, you, you, you can always do other things as, as drawing users back in uh, and, and really build, building in those customers for life. So to continue, to continue going, uh, we, we, we talked about getting started. Uh, the cost of, of launch is very, very minimal. We're going to launch an infrastructure that's going to allow you to scale. Uh, so for big commerce, we're, we're built on top of a really rich API, an application uh, platform in it interface. What all that really means is we've created a technical know-how to tie into the systems that you're really looking for to be successful. And we work with service providers, we work with marketing firms, we work with ad agencies uh, that, that help you not only start but really grow. Um, the next part of, of, of this, this, con this conversation is really search signals. So search, search signals, uh, you can think about this as PPC and, 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 and SEO. Uh, P PPC pay per click advertising, uh, and uh, Google actually has a really great tool called the Google Trends Lab, which actually allows you to basically look at a market segmentation, to be able to look at a, a, a specific topic, and then be able to actually extrapolate or uh, plot out uh, the trend of really that term. Uh, and so, really being able to look at is are, what's more popular, onesie or onesies? Uh, what's What's a better way to look at, uh, at, a, at, a, at a way to get, get in the news and in my headlines, be, be, being able to really kind of ma manage that? For us, um, we, we're a little unique in, in, in the e-commerce world because we allow SEO on, on every, um, every instance of really big commerce. And what that means is you're, you're able to build out search signals around a product level, around a category level, and a site level. Why is that important? Well, I want to rank well for the products that I sell, especially if I sell um, uh, brand, brand specific things that I'm building. Um, anything with really a UPC code or, or uh, with an individual SKU, Amazon does that really well. And so what you're, in, what you're actually end up doing is you're selling against other merchants that are offering the same product. Um, and so the, the, the big takeaway here is as you're building that search, search signals, think about your brand as a whole. Think about your your product categories as, as a subset, and then think about your products as a broader extension. Again, these are all ways you can drive traffic back to your website, building up that brand, and more importantly, making revenue. Uh, the, the, ne the next thing is really being able to sure that, that you have a fully customizable HTML and CSS fr front end. Again, being able to tell that brand story, that's a, that's, a big, uh, that's a big deal because you can only really make that impression once. Uh, so being able to have, uh, uh, a, site, a site that can be able to speak to those consumers. For, for, for us, out of the box, we, we offer responsive design and uh, mobile-specific templates. So that allows you to really broadcast your message, broadcast your brand right where your client is. If it's a phone, if it's a tablet, if it's a PC, if it's a billboard, whatever that looks like, we, 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 we can help you get there. And, and, it, and we can definitely talk about it. The cool thing with commerce as well is that it's completely iterative. And what that means is that I have the ability to test I can sub, I, I can sub segment. I can try out different products. I can, um, I, I can do different keyword strategies. When, whenever you heard uh, a lot of the so, uh, from a social perspective, um, for 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 us, we have direct integrations with Pinterest and, and Facebook. And so, being able to sell directly within a timeline, or being able to sell directly via a Facebook post, and I'd love to show show some examples uh, at a booth that I'm right over, right at over here. Uh, but, but really, uh, being able to test and, re and retest, that's a big difference between a commerce strategy and a traditional brick and mortar. Um, and we, we've actually built in some new analytics and, and, and insights to do that. So one thing that we heard in the last presentation was, was uh, Google Analytics. So Google Analytics um, it, it is, it is great for, 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 the, for the masses. And it's built on a very, very simple premise that whenever a visitor hits a website, uh, a, uh, a visitor is cached, it's hit with a piece of what's called JavaScript. JavaScript goes back out to Google and, and it tells you back at, at the merchant about 30 minutes later, hey, a customer was on your site, uh, they visited X amount of pages, and if you saw a receipt, then you, then you assume that there was a sale, and that's about it. Uh, what, what, one thing that uh, traditional big box retailers use is a technology called Radian 6. 
Radian 6 is about a million and a half uh, per, per, per license, and that's really why big, big box retailers really, uh, really love this. But what it's built on is, is the idea of event-based uh, analytics. So as users are on your site, you're able to tell that they're on the site, what products they're looking at, um, average order value, a lot of things like that. And so one of the things that we looked at was, why should that only be available for big box retailers? Why not democratize the ability for uh, merchants to be able to look in real time what, what, what's happening? So we, 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 so we similarly cre created a, an, an event-based um, analytics platform which does really two things. One is that we tie everything back to revenue. So again, one of, one of the big things, a lot of things that you'll hear uh, from uh, consultants, from developers, from designers, from uh, your marketing service providers is really deliverables. We're going to bring you 10,000 visitors. We're going to bring you a million visitors. Uh, those are great deliverables. The next sub question of that is, what's the ROI on that? What, what, what does a million visitors mean to a website? What's that ratio? We, we call those conversions. And so uh, what, we've, what we've built is a, is a real-time analytics background. And so maybe use the example of a brick and mortar. So if I told you as a brick and mortar, uh, you, you had 100 customers come in today, uh, you saw 20 of them at the register, but you can't interact with any of the other, uh, of the other 80. And, and so we don't know what they did. They maybe walk, walk around the store, maybe they use the restroom, maybe they uh, you know, browse at, at a few things and then they just left. Um, with, with our analytics package, what we're able to look at, and it's probably one of my favorite things when we do client on-site visits, is we create a dashboard. And so people will buy, as you have TVs all, all, all around the office, and they'll be able to look in real time, X amount of visitors, how much work revenue is coming in right now, uh, because that's the ultimate ROI, right? And so you know, we look at a site level, where do they come from, what time do they come, uh, what, 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 what do they look at, even more important, and this is, been a, a big barrier, I think, for, for the brick and mortar retailer or for, uh, for the SME market, the small and medium enterprise, is being able to look at the average order value of a customer. And so what, what does that mean? Well, being able to look at what, what does Joe here spend? When, when he's come across our site or when he, when he shops online, what's his average order value? What, what is he interested in? What, I, I have his email address and now, now I have an email campaign. So now I can actually start marketing. I, I can start looking at re, re marketing efforts. I can start looking at PPC strategies to maybe drive more gems but not Johns. Uh, maybe, maybe I can start actually fo 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 focusing on, man, he spent 10 minutes on, on a blue onesie and uh, you know, no, 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 no times on, a, on our handbag. So there's some aspects of bundling. Maybe there are some ways that I can look at merchandising. Again, you know, for companies like Target, for Best Buy, I actually man, uh, in, in a previous life managed uh, an account for Samsung, and Samsung actually has uh, teams all around the world that just specialize in knowing Joes and Johns. And, and the technology infrastructure and the burden of that has been out of reach for, for the small medium enterprise for years, and now it's and that now it's you. Again, for the cost of a cell phone, uh, eighty dollars a month to get started. Uh, you're you're up and running with with this kind of market intelligence, uh, which which then which then goes back to our, our big our big idea again measure be, be be able to look at visitors be able to tie it back to ROI what are your conversion rates what 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 categories are performing well what products are are, are performing well what channels of di di distribution are performing well um, there there are a lot of great resources uh, n number three adjust. Uh, you know, as you, met, uh, as you measure, again, e-commerce is very, very iterative. The cost of failure is almost nothing. Uh, the, cut, the burden of entry is very, very low. And so why not try? Why not, why not get a start? Um, again, you, you don't have to launch a full enterprise day one. Uh, one thing that we often tell our customers is be able to look at your products, get them online, and start sub sub them down. Again, don't, don't, don't fall for the trap of thinking of, I need to be online for the needs that I have today. Look, look, look at the long term. Where, where do I want to be in five years? Where do I want to be in 10 years? Uh, to use a phrase from the last presentation, how do I want to de be a digital disruptor? Um, uh, the, the, the next part is really scale. And so be, being able to have a platform that you can look at, you can grow, that you can uh, be, be able to go a million, be able to go five million, be able to go 10 million. What are the barriers really to that? Um, and so as, uh, as, we, as we kind of wrap up, um, I wanted to show 
uh, just to make sure I'm good on time here. So uh, one of our big phrases here, here at Big Commerce, is really sell more. That's really, that's really what, we, what we want to help you do. And so, so I actually wanted to show you just two examples. Uh, this is a client called US Pay, Patriot Tactical. Uh, they moved over from an on-premise solution called Magento. Uh, uh, it's, about a, it's about an 18 grand a year license, really just to operate and, and function. We, we, we help them basically boost their online sales, boost their transactions, boost their conversion rates, uh, and more importantly, their mo mobile conversion rate because they didn't, the, the, the stat is really interesting. They didn't really have a mobile presence, so three, three, three X from nothing is, is, is great. Uh, they're, they're just happy to be bringing revenue in. Uh, the next one, really a, bri a brick and mortar online. Uh, so being able to look at Cricket Short shirts. Uh, so we help them grow their revenue, help them grow their annual growth rate, uh, the amount of customers that they're bringing in the system, qualified customers, and really be being able to build up that repeat customer rate. And so uh, here, I know, I know I'm going a little bit late, but I wanted to show just one example of what this actually looks like. And with uh, US Patriots permission, I'd love to show you what this looks like, continue. So um, what, what I'm about to show you is really what, 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 what everything looks like. So again, we, we, talk, we talked about this idea of beauty uh, from the, fr the front end presentation, the digital front door for, 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 for your business. And what we're gonna walk through is really all this happens. So, one of the things that we've done is we've built out a, a, a rich platform that allows you to manage things like, like orders, being able to look at products, being able to look at customers, uh, being able to build out static web pages and content, uh, marketing functions. So, how am I doing on PPC? How am I doing on SEO? And, the, and this wouldn't be a demo if I didn't have some kind of some kind of technical blip here. So, uh, <laughs> I've got a screenshot, I've got a screenshot of what this looks like. So, a five, two, four, boom. Um, so, so on, on the analytics side, and, and it, as you guys come, come, come by the desk, I'm gonna give you guys a full, full demo, but we'll, what we do from an analytics standpoint, we have uh, a variety of different reports that can allow you to be able to look at conversions on products, on categories, on brand, uh, being able to look at where traffic is coming from, and more importantly, how that drives back to revenue. So, uh, really, in, in, in summary, we want to help you sell more, um, and, and I hope that this was helpful from these kind of 10 tips of being able to look at deliverables back to ROI, uh, be, be, being able to look at how, how's your brand uh, performing and, and, and really looking at, and, um, and yeah, as you're talking to your development teams, your marketing resources, um, go, 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 go back to that to, to basically look at what are those conversions, what are those goals that we really want to see, and how, how do you want to win online. So with, with that, get a matter of thing with big commerce, I'll be right over here. Uh, and thanks again for your time. Yeah.